What I'm going to do now is uh, try the actual audio because one of the things I spotted on DMR, certainly listening to any DMR stuff on, uh, on a scanner such as this, is that the audio quality is, is, yeah, it's got that, yes, it's got a nice low noise floor, but it's pretty poor quality compared to analog. It's got a very, very garbled kind of sound to it. And first impressions of this is that it's better than I expected, but it still has that garbled sound. I mean, I almost can't recognize myself. I'm quite used to hearing myself on a microphone because I edit videos and things. But um, I couldn't really kind of, it's like listening to somebody different. It's, anyway, I'll let you, let you hear for yourself. So first of all, um, let's set this. So we've got these both set to channel, let's set these both to channel 32. I'm not sure if there's a quicker way of doing this, might be. Have I done this right, channel 32? There we go. Uh, these buttons on the top here, by the way, these are nice. You, they're um, larger buttons than on this uh, 420. And I really like this because there's no need to put the two on there because the channels are changed from uh, from here. So you've got this really nice sturdy button on the top and I find that that's, that's really great. Uh, okay, we're set to channel 32 and I'm going to start recording on my recorder here and just... Let's just try saying anything into here. Uh, not sure what the levels are like. One, two. Well, you can see the uh, delay there. You can quite clearly see the delay. <laughs> Actually, well, you probably won't won't be able to because I'll uh, put this through the. Um, I'll, I'll align this so it might not. Sh the delay might not show on the final video that I do. But anyway, there. This gives you an idea of the audio quality on digital on the XT 660D radio. I'm currently talking from a distance of about five centimeters from the radio. If I talk right into the radio like that. Let's see if that makes any difference. And what about a little bit further away like that? So 15 centimeters from the radio. That's how it sounds at 15 centimeters. Five centimeters sounds a bit like that. And right into the radio sounds like that. Right, now let's switch to analog and compare. Uh, okay, so I'm going to just go channel up one. one to channel one and see if we can do a compar direct comparison here. Okay, so that's now on analog. We've got no, have we got any delay? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, actually. Uh, so this is an analog transmission now on PMR446. Uh, four, four, see how that sounds in comparison. I'll just, this is the XT660D at 15 centimetres. And that's the XT 660D at five centimeters, and that's right into the radio, so speaking right next to the speaker. Let's see how that sounds. Let's take a closer look at the file that I recorded there on the um, on the field recorder in Audition, and just try and just see some of the obvious differences between the two. Now, clearly, you've just heard the differences between the two, and it's night and day, really, isn't it? Um, they're just completely different, but. Let's just sort of find out why to start. Just to give you a quick reminder, here's the digital. Audio quality on digital on the XT 660D. And here's the analog. <laughs> Actually, uh, so this is an analog transmission now on PMR uh, 446. And the first thing, and I mentioned it in the notes there on the video just a, a moment ago, is intelligibility. Is that a word? Intelligibility? I think so. Uh, between the two. The digital is just so compressed. It's ridiculous. It borders on being difficult to understand because of the fact it's so compressed. Not only does it take away the characteristics of my voice, and I, I just, I sound like someone completely different. It's really unnerving to listen to because I don't, I'm not sure I could identify a person if I was talking to a group of people on, the, on radios and everyone sounded like this. On the XT660D radio. It, it sounds like everybody is either a little bit drunk or... There just is no distinction between, a, you know, you have a, probably a male voice and a female voice, and other than that, there's no difference between them. It does sound better from uh, from a bandwidth point of view, because, of course, the digital side of things doesn't have to carry any tones down at the bottom. It doesn't have to carry any of the uh, CSS tones down at the bottom. So as you can see, if I just zoom in on the frequency analysis here, we have spectrum on the actual vocal going right up from sort of 60 hertz 
up to about 4K. So that's pretty good. It makes it sound a bit richer. It makes it makes obviously the the uh, the deeper tones in my voice come through. I'm really talking from a distance of about right into the radio like that. Let's see if that makes any difference. And what about a little bit further away like that? So, so in that sense, it's just a sort of fuller sound and probably on a headset, if you're listening right in your ear rather than via the speaker on the radio, probably sounds better. I would have thought it's more comfortable to listen to. It's more sort of, um, it's less harsh to listen to if you're uh, listening over a long period of time to somebody. And I reckon that side of it is probably better. On the analog, of course, if you just take a quick look at this, you have, if I zoom in again here, you've got the 67 hertz CTC CSS tone, well, that's what the radio was set to at the time of recording this video, and that needs to span right up to here, so the actual audio of the vocal only starts at around 400 hertz, which means it's always going to have a very kind of um, telephone sound to it, I suppose, so that's why it has this analog transmission now on PMR uh, 446. That's why it sounds like an old telephone, because the frequency range of the audio is this is similar to that so it's lacking that deep stuff talk right into the radio like that that the digital stuff can carry there's analog transmission now on pmr uh, 446 see how that sounds in i don't know about you but the analog version is clearer it's simpler to understand in comparison to the digital Maybe you get used to it, maybe you learn to identify people differently, but to me, the amount of compression required within that 6.25 kilohertz bandwidth, and don't think DMR is any better, DMR is no better, because of course you're still effectively chopping that 12.5 kilohertz in half, so you still end up with the same artifacts and the same degree of compression. I just wish there was an option on these radios or in the standard, in the digital PMR standard, to use the full channel and have better audio. So, you know, say you have a setting there that says, all right, I want to reduce the number of channels, but I want to double the bit uh, bit rate of my data transmission and therefore just allow something more intelligible than than this because it really is a bit of a mess, isn't it? It just, it just sounds awful. I there, this gives you an idea of the audio quality on digital on the XT 660D. But the, the non-existent audio quality on digital versus transmission now on PMR uh, 446. See how that sounds in comparison. I'll... But the big argument is that this will stay clean and stay clear and stay exactly like this right to the fringe areas of the transmission. So as long as you're getting the signal. It will sound an idea of the audio quality on this. It will sound exactly the same as that, and that's an obvious benefit. If if on analog you're nowhere near and you've got a sort of distant radio with loads of static at the on top of it, I can imagine that it soon becomes just as difficult to understand. That's obviously a clear benefit of digital. There are loads of others as well, which I'll go into in a separate video, but. Um, there you go. There's a look at the two audio files and the reason they sound different. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.